growing systems today and right now we are inside looking at microgreens. We're at the Tuso Brewing Farm but we're actually in the microgreens farm section and this is where we are growing microgreens. We have this system, they are indoor growing lights. What we have growing here is radish, arugula, corn, here are some beets, some amaranth, so gorgeous, look at this. The chefs go berserk for this. Also starting onions and basil and carrots, imperial carrots, these are some heirloom varieties. Heirloom seeds, it's a great place to get heirloom seeds. They teach you about seed saving. RotoSeeds.com I believe is the web address. You wanna check that out for sure. Learn how to make your own microgreens at microgreensfarm.com. You can also check out the YouTube channel, Microgreens Farm. Tomato plants, celery, um, tomatillos that I started and they're gonna go into the garden soon. You've got several earth boxes going with peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers of course. The cucumbers are doing fantastic. The peppers are doing awesome. Tomatoes, um, I'm doing better with tomatoes and the plant bits. So we'll go take a look at those. We also have grow camp going. And chickens, of course. Hey, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. All right, all right. So we've got the grow camps going, which are amazing because we, they have the screen. Keeps out bugs. It doesn't keep out everything though. I find a few weeds now and again, but it's not really the grow camp's fault. It's the soil I buy. Um, they leave it outside, so it has weeds sometimes. And we've got some beans growing in here and more squash. We have another earth box here. If you notice everything is covered in chicken wire because yeah, the ladies like to nibble at everything, so we have to protect. But this, so far it seems like, for me and my climate and what I'm doing here, the earth boxes work best for cucumbers and squash, for me. Okay, here is a four by six plant bed. And it's got three tomato plants, lettuce, some peppers, and this bed's mostly tomatoes at this point. They are just doing so well and thriving, so it's a good thing. We have two more tomato plants in here, and mistakenly, I put potatoes on the other side because, you know, didn't know any better. We have a three by three, two four by sixes, and this new one is a two by eight. Everything that has been growing in these plant beds has been amazing. Okay, we have another grow camp here. And this one's full of uh, some spaghetti squash, two more tomato plants, because I'm growing tomatoes in all the systems to see what works best. And so far, Grow camp's doing well, um, but the plant beds are just rocking. They're just, they're just amazing. They're just <laughs> so in this grow camp, we've got some spring onions, some carrots, and some lettuce, habanero chilies, more basil. I like to put basil in pretty much wherever I can because bugs don't seem to like it too much, and I love it, so. It's probably enough cayenne pepper to last me a year very, very potent. You just need a tiny amount. I just add it when I want some heat. We're also growing in some pots here. It's already produced three large ripe figs and it's just popping out figs like crazy now. So this is, it's doing great. Fig trees, typically you want to put them in the ground because they're huge, but this one's producing fruit right in the pot. So it's another option. The greatest part of this cucumber plant is all the bees that come. Every day the bees show up and they're just hanging out in those flowers. It's so incredible. When you plant, you sow seed, you invite miraculous nature into your life.
Oh, 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 oh,